Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Go. In this episode, we'll be covering strings. To define a string in Go, you have two methods. You can either use the var method as shown here, or you can use the colon equals method, which defines it and then sets it to a certain value. To join strings together, it's as simple as using the plus sign. So as you can see here, saying that s is equal to string one plus string two puts the two together to form a single long string. To pull a substring from within a string, you can use the bracket method. If you want to start at the starting position, you can leave the first number blank. And if you want to end at the end position, you can leave the last number blank. And if you want to start in the middle and end in the middle, you can just put numbers on both sides. The string conversion package is important because it allows you to convert integers to alphas, aka strings, and alphas to integers. The strings package is the other important package to know about. You can use the split function to divide a string into several substrings based on a delimiter, as in this case the comma space is serving as a delimiter to separate Toronto, Canada into the two words Toronto and Canada. It also has formatting functions such as the one shown here, title functions converting all strings into its title case format, lower function converting it all to lower case, and upper function converting it all to uppercase. Finally, there's trimming, which lets you trim from the beginning and ending of a string to simplify it down to its core. In this case, you can use strings.trim to remove all the stars and slashes from the outsides of the hello. You can also use strings.trim space to remove the spaces from your word. You'll notice that it doesn't remove a space from inside the word, it only removes it from the outer ends of the word. You can use strings.trim prefix to remove a known character sequence from the beginning of your string, and you can use strings.trim suffix to remove character sequences from the ends of your string. With that, we've covered the basics of strings. Thank you for watching. Please like and favorite, and let us know what you'd like to see covered next.